the whole like opt in concept. Um, mm. That's yes, something yes. we definitely have. You know, there's one other woman that's worked at the school with me for almost as long. We've been together and we've gone back and forth over the years of this opt in, opt out classroom structure. And, you know, I think it's something that we're still like working to try to find that the what the the sweet spot. But Mm -hmm. what we are as a community where you can't opt out. So what we do is we work with the kids to help them learn to shift an educational experience or a class that meets their learning style. Like, no, we're in math class. Mm. This is what we're doing. So how can we structure it or tailor the experience to reflect you as a learner? So you can't opt out. Mm -hmm. Because this is something that we've all agreed that we have value, that we value. But uh, yeah, you, yeah. you do have the right as a learner to work with the educator, the class, to mm-hmm. shift the experience so that they find success and they gain, you know, they have a positive experience. I think that some of the learning that happens is maybe not math, but them figuring out Mm. how do I engage with this group of people? How do I be a good participant in a classroom structure as a team member? So they may not be learning Mm. the history class or whatever topic we might be on, but what they are figuring out is how do I how do I participate with this community and be a productive, positive member as an individual? And we've had experiences, we've had classes where kids can opt out. And what we've found over time, and we haven't like, I've not been at the school when it was a free school where in that structure, teachers that I've spoken to, eventually kids opt in because we're naturally I mean, we're wired to be we're curious. We want to know. We want to learn. We want to expand. Mm-hmm. And we want to be part of systems that are, you know, with other humans. So eventually they'll leave right. whatever experience, one thing and, and join another. And I believe that that is true. Mm-hmm. But I also notice that, that when that option is there, they will opt out because they might have a worry or a fear or no it's new i no i'm not gonna try it i don't want to i'm not going to experience that that's yeah. and so that's something that my colleague and i talk a lot about of like how many kids have actually expanded and really grown because they were asked to opt in and mm-hmm. knowing that they are able to enter at their rate, at their pace, what's comfortable, right. but opting in. This is the Agentic Schools podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world, where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg. <laughs>